It all began with a dream. What started out with one man's vision grew to become a burning passion that would eventually be shared by others by offering better, faster, and more cost-efficient production processes without compromising value and integrity, David M. Konsunhi dared to challenge an industry and changed the lives of millions. This dream began in 1954 when David M. Konsunhi created the company. Over the years, DMCI slowly gained a reputation built on dependability, innovativeness, high quality workmanship, and dedication. In 1957, DMCI began to shape the Makati skyline by building the country's first four high-rise structures along Ayala Avenue. In the 60s, it became the nation's leading construction firm through its pioneering techniques in constructing landmarks like the Cultural Center of the Philippines. In the 70s, it took part in the hotel construction boom by completing the Western Philippine Plaza and restoring the historic Manila Hotel. In the 80s, DMCI ventured in international construction projects, including the King Faisal Motorway in Kuwait and the Sultan's Palace in Brunei Darussalam, one of the largest overseas projects ever awarded to a Filipino construction company. The 90s saw DMCI building structures that were considered to be among the tallest and largest at that time, including SM Mega Mall, the largest commercial development, and Pacific Plaza, the tallest luxury residential condominium. It also completed the 975-meter Magat Bridge in Isabela, the second longest bridge in the country. In 1997, DMCI Holdings expanded into coal, real estate, steel fabrication, water, and railways. The expansion continued well into the next millennium to include DMCI Homes, its residential development division, and the acquisition of Manila Water Services Incorporated in a consortium with Metro Pacific. All these achievements were made possible by DMCI's singular vision. On March 8, 1995, DMCI Holdings was finally incorporated as a holding company to consolidate all construction business, construction component companies, and related interests of the Konsunhi family, namely DM Konsunhi Incorporated, which focuses on general construction services, the company's core business. Semirara Mining Corporation, engaged in the exploration, mining, and development of coal resources in Antique. As the Philippines' largest coal-producing company, it supplies coal to the state-owned National Power Corporation. DMCI Homes, its residential development division. It is the country's first AAA builder developer of premium quality, urban-friendly, fully-serviced communities for the underserved young families of modest income. DMCI Mining Corporation, which is involved in ore and mineral mining and exploration. Entering a joint venture with the Australian exploration company Lucina Mining Limited in Santa Cruz, Zambales. DMCI Power Corporation, which undertakes the design, construction, investment, and operation of power plants with the Masbate Power Generation as its most recent acquisition. Mainilat Water Services Incorporated, essentially a 45 to 55 consortium with Metro Pacific Investments Corporation. It is the largest water concessionaire in terms of customer base, supplying approximately over 2,300 million liters of water per day to a population of approximately 8 million. DMCI is also part of the Private Infrastructure Development Corporation, a consortium of all local contractors undertaking the construction, operation, and maintenance of the Tarlac La Union Toll Expressway from La Paz, Tarlac to Rosario La Union. Throughout the years, 
DMCI has evolved into a completely integrated infrastructure company that addresses every Filipino's fundamental needs. Backed by years of experience, DMCI stands as a testament to the expertise and professionalism of the Filipino spirit, evidenced by the hundreds of landmark infrastructures that have been born out of a single dream, touching the lives of millions in housing, road work, water, and power. DMCI has truly changed the lives of each and every Filipino. It all began with a dream. Now, we witness the reality.